Welcome back everybody. Today we have something that's a little bit different for you. However, if you guys have watched any of my hurricane or winter storm preparedness videos, this is kind of in line with what we're getting at there. So what we are actually reviewing today, and I've had in for a few months, is this little guy right here. It's the Jackery 500. It is a either a power bank or a portable generator, depending on what terminology you choose to use. And what you guys just saw there in the intro is absolutely one of the more impressive things about this unit. I brewed coffee with it, as you guys just saw. And um, the reason that's, that's impressive is that this is a 500 watt generator, but if you noticed during the intro on the actual uh, output that was going out, sometimes it was a little bit above that. So this thing can kind of outperform what it says it can perform, uh, which is good. And I should also note that uh, I searched around for this for a long time and actually did some uh, research on the internet to try to find a low draw coffee maker so I could make coffee while I was out at the range may not seem that important to a lot of you <laughs> but to me it was a priority uh so this is the one i went with it's a mr coffee i think yeah mr coffee now this one's actually rated to draw 6500 watts um, which is low for a coffee maker most of them or a water heater or whatever the case may be most of them are 10,000 or above so this is one of the lower ones so that's why i thought it might work with this jacker so it's one of the first things i tested out when i got it in and sure enough it works so that's awesome. Uh, some other things that these can power, I guess we'll just jump around here, um, but it can power your laptops, your cell phone. I will actually put the mine in right now, and I do have it plugged up to the solar charger, as I'm sure you guys see. But let's walk through the front of it actually here real quick. So we have the input that you guys uh, see that right now the solar charger is plugged into. You can also charge it, uh, and the solar charger is optional. I should add that um, that does not come with it. However, what it does come with is two different uh, ways to charge it. So you can use your 12 volt car um, adapter. So if you're driving down the road, uh, like in an RV or something like that, or even your regular car, you can power it that way. Uh, the powering time on that, and I'm actually gonna have to use notes for this video because there's a lot of technical stuff in here. I've used notes in like less than five of my 1500 videos, but the charging time on this one, I didn't test this. I've tested the two other ones here, DC adapter, um, I believe was 12 hours uh, with the solar charger. They say it takes 17 in their manual. However, here in the fall in the Carolinas, which is not good sun time, I've charged it from completely out to 100% just over 12 hours. And then with your uh, DC charger here, this is the one that you just plug into the wall. That's your fastest. This will charge right at seven hours um, in my testing there. So there is that. Uh, that's the input that we have here again for our car charging there and then our output there rather excuse me and then we have three different usbs here and you can see they're uh, five volt and then 2.4 amp as well so different there and then we have our um, regular standard plug and basically to select any of them you're just going to hook up whatever you're going to hook up here so we'll put our usb in there and then at this point you're just going to hit usb and this one will charge um macbooks and um phones and other things like that. So this is a 30 watt output, which is exactly what a MacBook Pro uses, which is cool. And then you can charge other devices as well. So if you wanna charge your cell phone, you can do that and charge all kinds of stuff. And what's cool is that we are doing this while again, it is charging itself through the solar panel. Again, you can plug it in, whatever the case may be, but we'll throw our iPhone in there as well charge those up. You guys can see the charging times of different devices out there um, on the market. This thing will charge a mini fridge. Um, I, my friend uses this actually as like a permanent fixture in his RV and he uses the mini, he uses it to charge his mini fridge the entire time. He never takes it out and uses the solar panels on the roof of his RV, which is really cool. So he kind of has like a continuous power station that's always there all the time so i do think that is kind of a cool deal now the actual weight on this one here is just at 13 pounds which for something that has this kind of output is really really good if you look around the marketplace that's simply excellent um, it has that carry handle as you guys can see you could throw it in a pack or if you want just to uh, take it out if you're going to go camping or something like that take it out of your vehicle throw it down on the campsite and you're good to go i'm not sure if it's like rated for any type of ipx rating however i did leave this out overnight and we had light rain and we had zero issues with it at all i should also point out 
the type of power that it uh, puts out is inverter type power. So if you guys are familiar with inverter generators, it's a similar concept. And it actually uses the same type of lithium batteries that the Tesla cars use, the current Tesla production. Now why that's important is I have other power banks uh, you guys have seen here on the channel. And they tend to, with multiple uses, lose their power in terms of how much they can uh, hold in the battery very, very quickly. This one, because of the new battery technology, does not have that issue. You can actually, they, they state, if you go to their website, it says the life cycle of this actual power bank is 500 cycles. However, read the fine print, um, that's not exactly the case. It's fi after 500 cycles, that's again, taking it all the way down to zero, recharging it up to 100, all the way down to zero, all the way up to 100, which most people normally don't do in normal use unless you're testing products like I do here. Um, after 500, it will still retain 80% of the original power. Um, and obviously it will slowly go down from there, but that is a lot of uses uh, that you can get without losing too much power. Just to kind of jump back on what I was saying earlier with the coffee maker, it's 500 watt, however, it can kind of go a little bit over it. Now, if you push it too hard and say you try to use like a full size refrigerator or like a really large coffee maker, those sorts of things, um, it will automatically internally trip itself so it has the built-in safety features that you would expect again that's kind of one of the benefits that comes with inverter power uh, it's just it's very clean it's very quiet um, and it's very uniform power um, as it goes out so you don't really have to worry about surges and those sorts of things that you would get if you're running like a traditional say gas generator of course um, especially if you're using solar it's about as green as it can get if you guys are into green energy so on their uh, website for this, it actually says it cannot power a, a blow dryer or a heat gun. So we have a heat gun here, and this one here is rated for 12,000 um, watts, or 1,200 watts, excuse me, not 12,000, that would be crazy, 1,200 watts. And I was just playing with it because I tested a number of different things uh, during this you know, test and evaluation process I was doing before I brought it to you guys here on camera. And on the low mode, you guys can kind of see, I'm not sure if it actually shows it, but you can see the the output changing there and that's probably terrible audio but if i <laughs> hold it over here um, it will run on low for a very very long time and on low this thing here gets really hot like if you put it on i tend to work in the firearms space for those of you guys who are new here and aren't subscribed to the channel if you put it on like a red lock tighted muzzle device if you leave it on low for about a minute it will break that seal so it's pretty darn hot and there's plenty of heat coming out of there. It's not as hot as it can be, of course, on high. But like I talked about earlier, it has an internal safety to it. So if you try to run more power than this thing can run, which I'll show you here in just a second, it'll just simply shut off. Um, and again, there's no fuses or anything like that going that you have to reset. It just shuts itself off. Now again, you guys will see the output should go down there on your screen. Hopefully the camera's picking that up. And then if we bump it up, and see outputs down to five watts. So if we bump it up, again, turn it back on, and then we go to high, it just absolutely shuts itself off because it can't produce that amount of power. Now, another thing that I found was interesting that it does power, which is useful for a lot of the applications, I think, that folks will be looking at something like this for, is it will power a, like a slow cooker or a, I'm sure there's different names for it, um, but it will power that. It will not power, I have like a hot plate that you plug in for, you know, cooking, frying up some eggs or something like that. It will not power that, of course, that's rated at 1100 watts. So I didn't think it would power it, but I just wanted to see it. However, your crock pots, your slow cookers and stuff like that, it absolutely will work on. And again, like you saw, the low drain uh, or low watt coffee pot as well. So in terms of output for something that weighs 13 pounds, very, very impressive in today's 2019 technology. There's just a couple other details on the power bank that I want to get into before we close the video out, but I also want to touch on this solar charging panels that we have here. So there's several companies that make these solar charging panels that work with power banks and lots of other things really uh, out there. And a lot of them are compatible with this. I'm sure there's a list over on Jackery's site. I have one from a different brand that's 50 watt. It works 100% fine with this. And even if the one you have isn't 100% compatible, it's very, very simple, guys, to just splice these and run your positive and negatives in there, and it will work uh, with this adapter. So just throwing that out there. So again, these are available separately from the power bank to point that out. I should also point out that Jackery did send this to me. So there is that. However, the reason I requested it is because I have their 240 and I love it. I talked about it all the time. So I wanted to go with a little bit higher output. 
again, so I could drink coffee on the range. Everybody has priorities. Um, so anyway, when it comes in, your uh, cord here, which is the power cord, will actually be in this pouch here. It zips up, uh, so that certainly is nice. It's very compact and sleek, as you guys can see here, and um, very easy to maneuver all of those sorts of things. But what's cool is it locks up and it won't just pop open unless you hit this little button here. You just push down on it to open. Um, and then what's also cool is if you just are, want a real quick like cell phone charge or computer charge, whatever the case may be, and you don't actually want to bust out your power bank, you don't need to because uh, you can actually charge it right here on the side with the USB and USB-C outlets. Um, so that's a really fast charge because this is an 18 volt um, output there. So it's pretty darn fast. It's faster than most like iPhone plug-in chargers uh, for folks that are familiar with that. Um, so when we open it, it's pretty simple and it's actually a pretty good design. You open this little button here. This is your little plug. And at this point, we can just open it. It's magnetic so what's holding it in place. Hopefully, I will be able to show this here on camera with our table, but these are the legs to put it at the angle, and they come out like that, and then you're just going to put it down like so, and I'm not sure it's going to be able to fit here on the table, but let me just lay it down like this for demonstration purposes. Obviously, pointing actually at the sun at the best angle is the best way to do it. At this point, you're just going to put the red into the red, black into the black as you would imagine, and then plug it here into your input. And again, if we change the actual angle of it here, you'll see the input amount will change. So at this angle, which is a really terrible angle with my hand covering it up, looks like we're getting about 14 watts at this point. But if we change it, pointing at the sun again, guys, this is not optimal time of the year for us, but if we change it like that, right now, I think you guys should be able to see that, it's at 45 watts, 46 watts. Um, so the angle of the sun really is gonna make a difference, but again, this is uh, free energy. So for those of you guys that are concerned with uh, grid down type of thing, you're getting a lot of power with this unit and a lot of capabilities. Um, it can power a CPAP machine, which I know a lot of folks are concerned with these days. Um, that said, I should also point this out. If you actually are drawing and you're not charging, so assuming we're not charging, if you're drawing less than 10 watts, so you have some sense of real, real low draw on there, it will automatically power down after six hours. So I don't know of any life-saving medical equipment that's gonna fall in that category, but it's just something to point out just so you're aware of it. Um, it's just a built-in feature uh, that the power bank has. This video is probably a little bit longer than I want it to be already, um, but that's because when I like stuff, I tend to really get into it. And there's a lot of details on this, and I probably didn't go into all the ones that I should have, but just two more things, guys, that we're gonna talk about, and then we're gonna let you go. End of the video. Um, so on the side here, we do have a LED flashlight. I'm laughing because uh, for those of you guys that are new here, I review flashlights all the time. It's something I do. I'm totally into them, I dig them, and uh, this is not a good flashlight, not in any way. If, I, if there was a con of this item right here, that is it. That said, I'm guessing Jackery threw it on here just as kind of like a bonus, so if you forget your flashlight, you have some sort of illumination uh, capability. Uh, that said, I would totally recommend just get a rechargeable flashlight and charge it on this unit rather than relying on this flashlight, um, but it does work. I mean, I can't knock it for that, and it is a bonus that, you know, if you needed it and you didn't have anything else, that'd be cool. Um, but that's the con, it's not a good flashlight. If they upgrade the model down the road, I would recommend uh, changing it out. Jackery, call me, I will help you guys out with flashlights. Um, but that, there is that, and the last thing I wanna talk about, guys, is price, because that's always important. Um, this one here, when it first came out, I think it came out in May of 2019, um, and it was going for like $5.99 or $6.50 across the board everywhere, and they were selling out like crazy. And uh, right now they've, as of right now, it's Christmas time anyway, so who knows, but they've been available. So you've been able to get these uh, over the last couple months, and right now they're going for $499. Um, so depending on how you look at that, that's either a pro or a con. Um, compared to other units with this type of battery technology in it, it's a great deal. It's a fantastic. Just compare them side by side across the board um, compared to other competitive options with a, like the previous generation of batteries. It's more expensive, right? But what you're going to get is you're going to get more cycles. You're going to get just more output. You're going to get the ability to drive things that are going to be a higher draw than the competitive options. So, um, and you're doing that here with a 13 pound unit. So very, very easy to transport, uh, which is good. It does have, I believe, a two year warranty. 
uh, and they, the warranty facility, which is where their headquarters is, is in California. For those that don't know, this was uh, Jackery was started in 2012 out of California, and their mission was to uh, provide green energy. And you can imagine a lot of folks in California probably are really into that. Um, I'm definitely not not into that. <laughs> if you can have clean energy, I'm all for it. Uh, for me personally, though, I look at this more as just a power, uh, portable rather, power source and emergency power source. So uh, here in the Carolinas, two of the last three years, we've gone well over a week without power. And uh, guess what, in the Northeast, uh, they're doing it right now as I am speaking. They have a crazy snowstorm going out, going on right now. And uh, I'm glad I'm not there, number one. Number two, there's power outages everywhere there. So in those types of situations, they can walk right out there, drop their solar panel if they don't already have it charged, or they could pre-charge it when you know a storm's coming. And they can have the ability to run their internet, their computers, their, again, CPAP. They can cook things on a, you know, in multiple different cooking devices that we kind of talked about here. Um, so they can run a fan, they can run lighting, all of those sorts of things that they otherwise wouldn't be able to do uh, without the power that they've come to rely on in their lives. So I think this is a great tool for people who just want to be prepared, who want to have uh, something just in case. And uh, again, so far it's been awesome. I'm really, really happy with it. I've, I had the smaller model that you guys have seen in my hurricane videos. And that's why I wanted to get the big dog here to get a little bit more power out of it. And really it's not that much more heavy, which I didn't expect until I actually got it in hand. Uh, so there's that. I think that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions about this uh, power bank, anything at all, feel free to post those down below in the comment section. However, if you have a question that you actually need answered, the best place to reach me is shoot me a message over at my Facebook page. I get back to all the messages I get over there. Uh, sometimes it takes me a couple days because there's only one of me and several hundred thousand of you, but I do get back to every message I see over there. If you guys aren't subscribed, you like this kind of video, uh, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, if you're subscribed, Make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload videos. If you've done both of those and you're not seeing three to four videos a week here on the channel, uh, you can sign up for my email list as well. It's not super spammy. I send out one email a week max, and uh, all it is is just the videos of the week. So that way you guys can actually see the content that I put up, and there's no social media giant uh, between us. Also, if this thing goes on sale or anything like that, uh, that will be thrown in the email as well, so that way you guys can take advantage of it. But there will be a link down below if you guys are looking to pick one up as well. I think that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.